Earlier, Coach JR demonstrated the warm-up, and the hosts and guests Kelly Huff of the UP women's football team got to try out the various warm-up exercises themselves. Now, Coach is ready to demonstrate what we have to do for the challenge. I think I'm ready to do the workout, but... I'm really tired right now. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, like I said earlier, regardless of what kind of athlete you are, if you do something new, it's always going to be Yeah, all right? different muscle groups, Strenuous. everything's new. Right, so, so we were hoping that that was the workout already, but apparently not. So, <laughs> so let's do it. Let's go. Okay, we've done a little bit of the warm-ups to get our bodies engaged. Now, Coach, what's next? All right, so we're ready to go into the uh, regular workout. So our workout has two parts, okay? Part A, part B. Part A is more of a skill or strength training session, okay? Um, we will uh, teach you first uh, how to do a tire flip properly, okay? And then we're gonna, once you know how to do it, we're gonna see how many you can do. Uh, 30, seconds, 30, uh, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off uh, for six rounds. So. The workout here is just actually six minutes worth of your time. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, we'll rest a little bit, and then, so this is sort of, uh, we'll, we're integrating the rest periods here, so that you can recollect, and this is pretty much just practicing proper posture and proper movement, right? And then part B is your metabolic conditioning. It's what uh, normally is just called conditioning, so metabolism is how fast you can produce energy, right? Uh, so there, three rounds for time, meaning continuous work, we go uh, as fast as possible to finish the workout. One round consists of eight wall ball shots, a 30 meter dumbbell overhead walk, eight body rows, and eight burpee box jump overs. Everybody's favorite. Right? So this is a total body workout, okay? A little bit of arms uh, here and here, and then legs as well. Um, all the while maintaining proper posture, maintaining proper movement, uh, and then uh, we'll see uh, how fast you can go with your blood pumping a little bit, all right? right? Okay, Coach, so our first workout for the day is a tire flip. How heavy is this? This tire is around 150 pounds. Ah, but at any time, pounds. It's nice. Yeah, but at any one time, you're not actually carrying the entire thing. Probably just around half of it, 75 pounds. All right, let's go. Um, I want you guys to just uh, think about, uh, memorize three things. Hips, knees, push. Hips, knees, push. Hips, knees, Hips. push. But at the setup, you already want to lean forward into it, okay? okay? And then drive forward and up, okay? So keep your chest up, keep your back flat, drive forward and up. So, and then here you want your hips to go uh, and push onto the tire, right? That's why we say hips, okay? You want your hips to fully extend, fully open, okay? To maximize the use of your legs to drive the tire up, okay? After that, okay, you will use your back foot to drive into the tire, kneeing the tire with your foot, all right? And after the knee, okay, you'll just uh, push the tire to finish the finish movement. I love that part. All right? Put it down. Go. Hips, Hips. knees, and then push. There you go. All right. Got it. Good job. Alright, go. Drive, 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 drive. Yes. Excellent. Oh. Questions on the movement. After uh, your, your strength and skill work, you'll do a conditioning workout. Three rounds for time, okay? As fast as you can. So we'll go over each movement and see if you guys can do it. So we have actually four different balls. We have 7, 10, 14, and 20 pounds. In competitions, alright, the target is beyond the blue line for men and on the blue line for women, okay? To start off, you just try to hit the wall. You put the ball on your chest like this. You'll be standing a little bit uh, away from the wall, okay? Maybe an arm's length from the wall. So, uh, two elements here. You jump up for power, and then you throw forward for direction so that the ball will hit the wall. Go all the way down to your squat, jump up, throw forward. Jump up, throw forward. Unless you want, you want to try it. I know catching one Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go hit the target. Yeah, they hit it. <laughs> okay, good. From here, keep your hands up. Absorb. Okay. And then catch it. Hey, dude. 
Next movement is a dumbbell overhead walk. Start with the dumbbell on your shoulders, and one end of the dumbbell on your shoulders. Elbows a little bit in front of your shoulders, okay? And then from here, just punch the dumbbell all straight up, okay? Try to keep your hands over the shoulder, okay? Um, and when in this position, your arm should be aligned towards your ear. As you just walk towards the wall, just like a model. And then as you reach the wall, turn around, come back, okay? Work hard on keeping those elbows locked, okay? Keep the dumbbells nice and balanced over your shoulders. <laughs> good, good, good. The next exercise, second to the last in the round, is the body row. It's an arm strengthening and back strengthening exercise. You'll hold the bottom of the rings and then you'll bend your knees a bit and then lie back. Okay? Until your uh, arms are straight. Okay? Ideally, ideally, get your arm, elbows to be straight as well. Okay? First, you pull your shoulders back, push your chest out, and then pull your elbows back. All the way up until your chest, until your hands touch your ribs. Okay? And then go back down to the starting position. Okay? If this is too hard for you, you can step back. You you will be, it will be up to you how difficult you make the movement. Okay? So <laughs> low. The more upright you are, the easier it'll be. Okay, go. Much better. Much better. Two more. One more. That's it. Excellent. Good job. Bring it up. Rings touch your chest. Okay, good job. One more. Good. Burby box jump over. Most basic definition of it that we'll use right now is just touch your chest to the floor on one side and on the other side. All right? So, yeah, jump up. Then step down on the other side and then get your chest to touch the floor on the other side. Okay? So, It's a lot easier. Okay, we're done with the warm-ups. Now it's time for the, the throwdown. Throw